today I'm going to show you how to heat up your cauliflower pizza crust perfect every single time. You can heat it up straight out of the freezer or you can thaw it out the night before into the refrigerator and then heat it up that way. So the cauliflower pizza com crust comes in two different flavors. This is the original and this is the turmeric. So the heating up instructions for both of them are exactly the same and they're also on the label. So you can basically just follow the instructions, which is what we're going to do today. You can heat up the pizza either in a small toaster oven like this or your regular oven. There's no difference. So today we're going to show you how to heat up the pizza straight out of the freezer. This here is frozen. So we're going to leave it on the counter to let it thaw out for about 10 minutes and then come back and heat it up. So all I'm going to do is open up the package with scissors carefully and then take the pizza out of the packaging and then leave the pizza right here, throw away the packaging or you can leave it, you can keep it for instructions and we'll come back in about 10 minutes. Um, right now it is 12.23, we'll come back around 12.33 and um, toast the pizza. So this pizza has been sitting out here for about 10 minutes and it's already off the board. So it's, it's thawed out, but it's not completely thawed out. As you can see, it's a little frozen still, which is fine. So today we're going to cook it in a toaster oven. Now the toaster ovens get heated up really fast as opposed to the home ovens. So we're going to only preheat it for a couple of minutes. Now this one is a Cuisinart. Art, I love it, it's a convectional oven. So we're going to take the tray out because we're not going to use the tray. Um, and we're going to um, heat up the oven. It's at 350, set to bake, and we're going to heat it up for about a couple of minutes. You'll see that the oven is pretty hot when we come back and um, toast the um, cauliflower pizza crust. Okay, so now it's time to put the pizza in the oven. As you can see, the oven is pretty hot, so please be careful um, with your hands. I just usually take this and I slide it straight right on the rack, and that's as easy as it gets. Um, I can actually hear it sizzling, so I'm going to shut the door and leave it alone for 10 minutes. It's 12.37, we'll come back in 10 minutes. Now the thing that you don't wanna do is continue to open uh, this door here and check the pizza because as soon as you open this door the heat comes out and the temperature goes down so as you can see this particular one has a glass door so you can see the pizza making sure that it's you know it's still doing well uh, but I would suggest do not open the door until 10 minutes have passed um, so the pizza has had time to heat up and start to get crispy so we will come back around 1247 to check on our pizza. So here we are, we're back 10 minutes after to check on our pizza to see how everything is going. We're going to open the door. Now, um, the thing that I wanna stress is please have some mittens on because the oven is hot and you don't wanna burn yourself. So we're going to take the rack out to see what's happening. Now, I like to keep the cardboard around that the pizza comes on because it makes it a lot easier for me to just scoop the pizza crust right onto the cardboard. Um, so here we go. Pizza looks really hearty and toasty. So let's shut the oven door so we don't burn ourselves. And here's our pizza crust. It's pretty crispy. Now if you want it crispier, you can also put it right back in the oven for another five minutes or so. But I would keep on checking on it at this point because uh, you don't want to burn the pizza and then have nothing else, to, nothing to eat. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to make this pizza, put some toppings on, um, just to show you different toppings and then um, feel free to log on to our Instagram and check out different options and different ideas of topping. This crust is so versatile, you can pretty much do anything you want with it. So here we go.
today I, I made this pizza. It has pesto on top. We have some artichokes, we have pine nuts, we have some beets, uh, some sun-dried tomatoes, and I'm just going to put it back in the oven for another five minutes just to let all the toppings heat up um, really good and toast it a little bit more. So please be careful when you're putting the taking the pizza in and out of the oven. We're going to shut the oven off and wait for another five minutes and our pizza will be ready. So we're back to take the pizza out of the oven. Here we go. As you can see, it's nice and steamy. Let's shut off the oven door. And I'm going to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on here. And a little bit of marinated shallots and some jalapenos to give it more flavor. And we're ready to eat. So you can go on our Instagram and check out other um, possibilities for the pizza and other flavors. Possibilities are limitless. And here we have a beautiful pizza in 15 minutes. My name is Julie Autry and I create, I create nutritional food products that are meant to feed your body and your soul.